question every end of the class in the group you know uh, you have the recording session okay whenever you miss the uh, any classes you can watch the recording session so you can see it here we have the demo recording session as well if you go up and uh, here you can see the recording session will get auto dump here okay so you don't have to uh, connect with me that could you please provide the recording session so in whenever you know uh, take the class uh, the recording session will get started it will auto get dumped into this group okay just go in to this group and download or otherwise you can play online okay uh guys can you see my screen yes okay fine thank you so uh some of the person i believe uh, uh, is uh, new in this class right so let me introduce uh, myself i am vikas kumar i am your trainer i have more than 8 years of the experience uh, right in the testing industry i work on the multiple dom domains and the technology i work on the educational project i work on the agriculture project i work on the credit project i work on the you know uh, the pension mortgage real estate project right and uh, in if you talk about the uh, ui testing i work on the ui automation testing using selenium and uh, different framework like hybrid framework cucumber framework data driven framework right and uh, using the different languages java languages c sharp languages right and uh, also work on the back end the back end part okay so uh, in the back end part i am expert in the apis testing right so i am also taking the class of uh, the rest api uh, testing course that is monday to friday using the postman tool and uh, i am also uh, the expert in the performance testing okay so using the jmeter tool okay so this class is regarding the performance testing tool using jmeter okay so we have already taken the demo classes we have already taken the demo classes okay so uh uh now the today is the first regular class of the performance testing and the class will be saturday sunday right 4 to 6 o'clock 2 hour and half an hour for the doubt session during your practice if you have any queries question or anything you have you can discuss with me in the half an hour okay and uh, so um, last time let me call to the person who has not uh, joined still because i don't want let me call everyone actually mm -hmm. hello yes sir tell me any question and uh, one request from my side guys uh, could you please mute yourself uh, so that other one could not hear your background noise whenever you have any queries question then you can raise your hand okay and one more thing when uh, the recording i will start from my end from my side do not start the recording at your end so if you start the recording at your end my recording will get cancel and your recording will get started so if you start from your side then you have the two recording session in the chat box okay so you will get confused so that's why for one class make the one recording session okay now so guys uh, uh, could i have to again go through the topic which i have discussed on the demo class or could i proceed further or you want to continue from the beginning like uh, from the uh, you know beginning which i have already discussed in the demo class it's up to you up to you guys because uh, uh most uh, some of the things i have already explained in the demo class if you want to again uh, you know want to go through that all the topics 
which I have explained in the. Uh, sorry, come again. Sorry. Okay, so is there anyone uh, is new? Then please let me know. Is there anyone is new person who has not attended the demo classes? Is there any new person here? Okay, Sonali. Okay, Sonali, you are the new. Okay, and any other person who is new? Sonali is the new. I okay. So, uh, Sonali, I can do the one thing. Uh, I will share you the recording session of uh, demo class. You can uh, go through that. Right. If you have any query, then uh, let me know. OK, so I will uh, send you the recording session. You can go through that so that I can continue the class from the, you know, where I have stopped the topic in the demo classes. OK. Give me a second. Let me pause. Let me pause. Give me a second, guys. Keep all of you. But I don't want to miss him. Okay. So uh, in last class, let me go through the uh, you know the topic which we have already discussed. Okay. So in uh, types of the testing, guys, you can mute, please. Uh, guys, could you please mute yourself? It's disturbing the class. Okay. So in demo class, we have discussed about the performance testing. What are the types of the testing, right? the functional and the non-functional in the functional testing unit testing smoke testing regression integration and the backend testing okay these all are the testing in non-functional the performance testing and the security testing in performance testing we have load testing stress testing scalability testing volume and the endurance testing so we already discussed this thing in last class we have discussed what is the functional testing what is the non-functional? What are the types of the non-functional? What are the tools available for the functional testing? And what are the tools available to do the non-functional testing? That is, you know, uh, J meter, load runner, web load, new load, IBM, K6, uh, load UI, Gatlin. So J meter is the very famous tool and uh, it is open source tool. And in this as part of this course we will try to learn the j meter actually okay so we have already discussed the load runner and the j meter right and uh, in if you are doing the functional testing then you are reporting the issue as a bug or defect okay if you are doing the performance testing that is known as a bottleneck right if you are doing the security testing then it is known as a vulnerabilities. Okay, so in different types of the testing, we are uh, you know using the different terms for the issue. In manual testing, in functional testing, we are using bug or defect. In non-functional testing, that is in the performance testing, we are using bottleneck. If any issue you are finding in the performance testing, then it is known as a bottleneck. We have already discussed. We have already discussed what is the performance testing. OK, and so uh, is that fine? Can I uh, continue with uh, types of the testing? Is that everyone agree? Then I can continue with you. Yes, fine. I think I have already covered this topic also, but uh, anyhow, uh, can I go with this topic also? Everyone agree? Yes, because. OK, fine, fine, because this thing is very important. So 
when you are uh, uh, you know searching the job uh, the interviewer will not directly ask you the question that uh, what did you mean by the performance testing sometime they will also ask okay but generally they will ask you regarding the what are the types of the testing they will ask you the definition about the types of the testing what did you mean by the load testing what did you mean by the stress testing what did you mean by the endurance testing volume testing step scalability testing okay so this all types these all are the types of the performance testing so let's try to understand one by one okay so in one line if you uh, if you understand the performance testing performance testing means to test the response time of the application by applying a load that is known as a performance testing and inside the performance testing we have the different types of the testing the load stress and the scalability and uh, the volume and the endurance let's try to understand one by one let's suppose your client is asking you to do the load testing if you don't know the concept of the load testing you can't explain him you can't do the load testing okay so let's try to uh, understand the load testing let me open my notepad okay load testing here you can see in the definition testing the stability stability means the application is stable or not testing the stability and response time of application by applying load which is equal to desired number of user or less than desired number of user that is known as a load testing let's suppose let's suppose you are working one project one banking project or e-commerce site let's suppose you are working on one e-commerce application okay you are working on one e-commerce application right and your client is asking you inside the e-commerce the one module is completed let's suppose uh, one section is completed the development is completed for one section now the client is asking you to do the performance testing to do the load testing of this particular module and he is giving you uh, the requirement of user is the requirement of user is 100 sorry 1000 user okay so that means you have to test this section test this section by creating the thousand virtual user thousand virtual user you have to create and you have to apply the load on the server and and the client asking you to the, what is the first requirement by client requirement uh, is for the thousand user the second one is to apply uh sorry uh, second one is to do the load testing okay so if you don't know the load testing in load testing uh, what it exactly it is so you can't apply the you know uh, load testing so load testing means you have to apply the load on the server equal to 1000 or less than 1000 equal to or less than 1000 that is load testing if you are applying the load on the server equal to or less than 1000 whatever i am not asking only 1000 if your client is asking 100 then you have to check with 100 not more than 100 if it is load testing if the client is asking you load testing then it should be below than 100 or equal to 100 not above the 100 okay so uh, your client is asking you 1000 right 
so what you are doing here you start testing so when your client asking you to do the uh, load testing of thousand user so you can't directly apply the load of thousand user do not do such type of mistake when 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 your client is asking go and do the load testing by using thousand user right so you can't directly apply the load uh, with a thousand user this is a major mistake you are doing okay what you have to do if client you have to clear the things with the client okay i got the things you want the load testing and you want to test with the 100 user but can you in, uh, can you say me that from what user i can start means the minimum user i can start so they will ask you the client will ask you go and start with the 100 user apply the load on the server with 100 user okay if client is not asking uh, anything then you can start with the min, min with the uh, you know uh, with the uh, 10 value then increase the load 100 then 200 like that you have to increase the load on the server do not test with the 1000 okay or 900 something like that try to start with the lower value apply the load with the lower value so that uh you know uh, if you directly apply the load thousand user so there is chances that uh, your server will not respond okay so always try to apply the lower number so what i am doing here i am a employee of the company and my client is asking you asking me to do the uh, load testing so what i will do i will test with 100 user and and check the response time and response time is uh response time is response time is when i apply the 100 user on the server response time right now try to understand the theoretical section okay so when we uh, start doing this practically i will show you this all the concept practically okay response time when you apply the load on the server it's 3 uh, second 3 second okay now it is working that it is working you are getting the response from the server okay now what you are doing here what you are doing you are applying the load as a 150 user right and you verifying the response time you verifying the response time okay again it is 3 second okay now you increasing the load as a uh, 250 user you are uh, slowly slowly you have to increase the load on the server now response time is uh, let's suppose it get increases with 4 second because your load is increasing and if your application is not designed in, uh, like that then your response time will also get increased okay now you are applying the load of 500 okay and check the response time response time is Uh, let's suppose it's taking 6 second okay you are getting the response at least you are not getting any error message now you can apply with uh, like uh, 600 and then uh, 700 and then you can thousand okay thousand and then you have to verify the response time of the res- response time you have to verify let's suppose it is taking 7 second when you are applying the 100 user so that is known as a load testing less than or uh, equal to desired number of user desired number of user that is the load testing now the second types of the testing is the second one is uh second one is stress testing now let's suppose your client is asking you guys my voice is audible yes okay so please uh, if you face any issue then let me know uh, okay so let me call to the person who has not joined
Okay, uh, let's moving to the stress testing. In stress testing, let's suppose your client is asking you to do the stress testing. Okay, what you are doing stress testing means, uh, let's suppose the client giving you requirement as a uh, thousand user or let's suppose 1500 or let's suppose uh, 1200 is asking is giving you uh, the number of users you can apply is 1200 okay and he want to perform the uh, stress testing right so uh, how you can do the stress testing okay now what did you mean by the stress testing if the client asking you to do the stress testing, then you have to apply the load more than the desired number of user. More than the desired number of user. OK, that means let's suppose uh, if he is asking for thousand user, thousand user as part of the stress testing. So why he is asking to do the stress testing? So uh, guys, one thing uh, I want to understand from you guys. If I'm giving you. I am the client. I am the client and I'm asking you to do the stress testing and I'm giving you 100 user. What did you mean by the sorry? I'm giving you 1000 user. What did you mean by that? I'm not asking you about the stress testing. What is stress testing? Just I'm giving you one term stress testing and giving you requirement as a thousand user. What did you understand that? Means uh, the thousand user will log in at the same time or will uh, uh, use that functionality at the same time. Yeah, that I understand the thousand user, uh, you know, is uh, you have to create the uh, thousand virtual user and you have to perform the action. But this also means that up to thousand user, it is working up to 999. Can I say? Yes. Because as part of the stress testing, the stress testing say that you have to apply the load more than the more than more than the desired number of user. Desired number of user. What is the desired number of user? Thousand. You have to apply the load more than the thousand. So how you can apply? If the client is asking you go and apply the stress testing, then what you are doing here, you directly going applying the 20,000 user. No, even 10,000 user. No, never do that, guys. Never do that. So you are Only thinking that why, why I should apply for the minimum and directly apply for the maximum and uh, uh, get the result and report to the client that it is working or like whatever the status directly report. Do not do that. You are the professional guys. OK, so do not do mistake like that. So first confirm with the client. OK, I get the thing. I get the thing. You want to do this stress testing and you want to apply the thousand user, right? But one thing I want to uh, let me know that how many uh, you know, uh, in in which uh, you know, uh, in which uh, you know you have to increment the value, right? Uh, uh, like uh, how much value first you want to take, and how how much value you want to test, and you know, and then how much uh, user you want to increase in the second uh, scenario, third scenario. So they will ask you start with the thousand user or greater than and start increasing the 100 user 200 user. 
start increasing with the 100 user 200 user so they will provide if if they will not provide you so you can apply like that okay so what you are doing here first test with the thousand users okay check the response time let's suppose it's taking three seconds then uh, increase the load on the server with 1100 uh, one, and then uh, check the response of the time then increase the load on the server 200 and uh, check the response okay four seconds now increase the load 1500 and then check the response check the response okay five seconds okay now apply the 200 sorry 2000 and check the response okay so what you are trying to do it here you are trying to apply the load more than the desired number of user equal to or more than the desired number of user and verifying the response times of the application so if i'm asking you to do the stress testing of 100 you sorry thousand user that means that means your application is working up to 99 user can i say like that that's why you are uh, doing with a uh, thousand user as a stress testing right so it means that up to 999 it is working you are not getting any error can i say like that yes right so Okay, now come to the come to the next part of the testing that is scalability testing. Okay, so scalability testing. Okay, so as part of scalability testing, what you have to do if the client asking you to do the scalability testing, what you have to do? Okay. The first thing they have provided you, you have to do this testing. And the second thing they have provided you the thousand users. Or I'm always taking thousand. Let's suppose this time I'm taking uh, one three. OK, or two thousand also three thousand also depends on the client. OK. Now, as part of this capability testing, what you have to do you have to apply the load until unless it not get break right so let's try to understand you have to apply the load more than the 1300 user so let's try 144 i have applied it's taking three seconds i'm up increasing the load it's taking four seconds I'm increasing the load on the server. It's taking four seconds. I'm increasing the load 2000. It's taking again five, five seconds. It's taking increasing the load 25 users. OK, and it's taking 10 seconds. So can you see that when you are applying the load on the server, the response time is also increasing. also increasing at 2500 user you are you can see 10 seconds it's taking but i'm getting the response even late response but i'm getting the response i'm not getting any error message but i'm getting the response but it is the response is late response time is more but at least i'm getting the response okay now Increasing the load 727. Okay. Now, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, 14 seconds. Now increase the load 3000. Okay. 20 seconds. Now increase the load on the server like uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, 7500. 
okay but generally when you see your time is increases then do not uh, directly uh, apply the high load try to slowly slowly increase the load okay 20 100 like that okay and then it's taking uh, 28 second now you again applying the load on the server and you are getting in you are getting in 30 second now you are again applying the load on the server here you can see in when you are applying the load 33 you are getting an error message so this is known as a scalability testing where you have to check at which at which level you start getting the error message okay that is known as a scalability testing okay so this point you don't have to stop here you can see you get the response late but you are getting the response so guys tell me uh, can i say scalability testing is also a stress testing can i say yes yes no okay so i can say uh, i can say this is the stress testing right now come yes. to come to here volume testing volume testing is also known as a flood testing sometime interviewer will ask you what did you mean by the flood testing or uh, volume testing okay so let's try to understand testing the stability and the response time application by transferring the huge volume of data huge volume of data we are transferring uh, are testing the capacity of the database where the software app soft where the software is subjected to a huge volume of data let's take an example let's take an example uh, when you are uploading the video in the youtube or some other places right so uh, you uploading like 1 mb 2 mb right so it's uh, you know it get uh, uploaded quickly when you are uploading the large volume of data like uh, half an hour video or one hour video or like uh, you your file size is more the volume is more right so it's taking more time agree yeah agree so that is known as a volume testing in volume testing we are applying the load with a huge volume of data huge volume of data we will see when we start doing this practically okay huge volume of the data that is known as a volume testing or flood testing okay now come to the endurance testing what did you mean by the endurance and the soak testing it is also known as a soak testing soak testing endurance testing means to test the application for a continuously longer period of time longer period of a time that is known as a uh endurance testing let's suppose the maruti suzuki has launched his car into the market he launched his car right and you purchase that car and uh, you are very excited to drive that car because uh, it is the first car which is owned by you right from your salary right and something you do hard labor and you purchase the thing you feel very good okay same situation we can take it here you purchase one car 
Maruti Suzuki car, Maruti uh, brand. Okay, you want to go for uh, you know from Delhi to Kanyakumari, long drive. You want to go, or you want to go Delhi to Madhya Pradesh, or Delhi to Odisha, Delhi to Kolkata, Delhi to Bangalore. You want to go long drive. Okay, so you, obviously you have to drive the car for a longer period of time. like uh, you know 8 hour continuously 3 hours continuously and then you stop and then you will uh, stay and then you will uh, again drive the car continuously you are uh, uh, you know using the uh, car okay what happen you purchase the car you are very happy when you are continuously using your car 4 hours 5 hours your car start uh, you know Uh, uh producing some un, you know weird noise weird noise and uh, uh speed is you know also not not that much of the good mileage is also not that much of the good and uh, you know and start uh, uh, producing the more smoke and more sound right so uh because you continuously Uh, driving the car because of that you start facing this type of issue i think uh, if uh, uh, i think uh, if uh, you already know this thing when you are uh, you know i am continuously when i am using my mobile even 1 hour 2 hour so my mobile get heated i think if you ho- observe that thing your mobile yes, gets correct. heated right so that means you are continuously using the application continuously using the application or any electronics devices any object any object you are continuously doing right so this type of testing is also done by the company they are applying the load continuously on the server they are continuously using the application because the user will do the same thing in the real time that's why they are creating the same thing at his side they will continuously test uh, this application application or device for a one day two day three days four days and whole week whole month e- excuse me yeah whole year even right so that is known as a endurance testing to test the stability and the response time of the application by applying load for a continuous period of a time continuous period of a time that is known as a endurance or soak testing okay this is all about the types of the testing i think if the interviewer will ask you can you define any of them i think you will kill them right you can define the things very neat and clean way okay yeah. yeah now come to come to here uh why we need i think we already discussed this thing we can ignore can i in the demo class or you want to discuss why need the performance testing okay let me discuss then Let's suppose you are using the Amazon site. Uh, I am opening my browser, Chrome. dot Chrome. Guys, one more thing, guys. Uh, one more thing. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, and tomorrow is also a Raksha Bandhan. So uh, tomorrow I will not take the class because uh, tomorrow is the Raksha Bandhan. Every brothers and sister celebrate their Raksha Bandhan. so tomorrow i will not take the class so we'll meet on next saturday sunday that is on 28 and 29 4 to 6 o'clock 4 to 6 o'clock so that you can enjoy right you are going somewhere right so that's why i cancel the tomorrow classes even i am going also so uh, that's why i have canceled so we'll take the continue the class from 28 and 29 so whoever want to continue this class okay and who is new in this uh, group in the uh, the regular classes and uh, if you are interested then please drop the message that you are interested so that i can consider your name 
if you are new if you have not attended the demo class and you have not confirmed there and you are confirming in this class you can confirm okay okay uh ta -ta 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 -ta, give me a second give me a second Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Vikas, you said that uh, you. can you tell me what is a uh, baseline test or else dry run test, any one of this? Sorry, come again, sir. I'm asking uh, what is a uh, baseline test as well as uh, this dry run test. What it is exactly? Like, Do you have any idea on that? Sanity dry testing run. or else? Yes. Uh, yes the testing uh, basically it's come into the functional testing, sir. Okay, uh, the testing which you are asking, the sanity testing, is smoke testing, it comes under the uh, the functional testing. Uh, it's not comes under the non-functional testing that is in the performance testing actually. So when you are doing the performance testing, you are not doing the sanity testing or dry run testing. Okay, it comes under the functional testing. So basically, sanity testing and uh, the smoke testing, both are, you can say, same, but there is some different related to the documentation, I think. Because I have not that much involved in the manual testing. So I can't give you the clear picture about the sanity testing, in which case we have to do. But in a smoke testing, you are doing the basic and the, you know, high level testing right to taste this scenario in the smoke testing and the sanity testing is also similar to the smoke testing okay but there is some difference i think in sanity testing in smoke testing you are testing only high level things only basic basic scenarios are there that is what in sanity testing we are testing we are following the requirement and we are testing each and every basic scenario actually i think it is the difference actually uh, okay, uh, one more thing is like, a, what is this uh, dry run, like uh, the thing is like a baseline test with the, uh, we'll do the performance testing with the minimal users, like uh, Okay, very for in the performance testing, if you uh, ask like, what is the baseline for that, let's suppose you are not, uh, uh, let's suppose, uh, let's suppose uh, you, you, the client has not provided you the the required user right can i take like that the requirement has not provided then how you can start uh, the things right how you can start doing the uh, performance testing so uh, the first thing you can't directly apply the load higher the first thing like uh, uh, the thousand user two thousand user because this thing you have to communicate with the client okay and the baseline, what is the baseline we can start with? So you can start with and discuss with the team. Keep the loop. You know, you have to, uh, you have to, you know, uh, you have to uh, inform your team lead or uh, even your client also that you are start doing the performance testing with a hundred user. Hundred users. You can start with the 50 user. 50 users. Okay, and then increase the load. Okay, if you don't know the desired number of user then, but when you are applying the 50 user, please keep informed to your team lead that you are applying the load of 50 users, right? When it is working for the 50 user, then you can apply with uh, 70, then you can increase the load and 100, then you can increase the load with uh, 140, like that, you can increase. Clear, sir? Did you okay, get your that, answer? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, if you don't know the users, like how many users uh, particularly, uh, then we'll uh, do this test, like with the with using the minimum users, like, uh, like you said, 100, uh, slowly yeah. increase. Yeah. Okay, base. Like yeah, the base. exactly. But 
Exactly, but you have to inform your team lead and the client as well. If client is not there, then you have to at least uh, report this thing to your management, to your team lead, so that he is aware about that that you are doing this stuff. Because the performance testing is very sensitive stuff, sensitive testing actually. That's why, if uh, they agree, then you can apply the loan. If they ask you go and apply, then you can do. Okay. And one more uh, last doubt is like, uh, what is meant by burst? Like, have you heard anything regarding the word burst testing or else burst? Burst? No, yeah. sir. I have not used. But let me search. Is any spelling of the word B U R S T? Yeah, both. Like. What is the spelling of that? Well, that is for burst testing. Burst like means meaning. You said like a uh, burn. So it comes under functional testing. It's okay. That's fine. If it is under functional testing, that is not necessary for me. Okay, it is okay. I have not uh, not much work work on the manual yeah. stuff. So oh, okay. so uh, let me. Uh, but let me clear. What is the spelling? So even I can know that testing. Even I have not. Uh, could you please send the spelling? Uh, B U R B R. Yes, B U R. Yes, T. S E. T T T like a uh, tango. First. First. Yeah, I think it comes under the functional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it comes under the functional. Yeah. फर्नीचर Let's suppose when I clicking on the Amazon, it display the page taking one minute or sixty second, fifty second. When I clicking on the office chair, it's again taking uh, right now it displaying in fraction of second. But ignore, uh, it's taking like uh, one minute or more than one minute. So it's hectic or not? Tell me. If you are trying to purchase anything and you are using the application and the response time of the application is more, right? So tell me if uh, it is hectic or not. Yes, hectic. Uh, right, because we don't have the that much of the time. We can wait and uh, uh, you know uh, book that. There is chances when you do the payment, um, it will get stuck. There is chances, right? So I will not use the Amazon. I will use the Flipkart. flipkart so what happen i the amazon lose the customer i switch to the flipkart similarly like me if uh, other one also face the same thing right she will also not use the amazon and he will come to the flipkart agree agree yes, guys yeah absolutely so so if the performance will not good the company image will go down the customer will you know they lose the customer right now i have lose uh, you know i have quit the amazon if you face then you will also if another person then he will also similarly the number of people not using the amazon they are losing their customer okay so if the customer lose then it is directly proportional to the revenue right if the customer lose then it is directly proportional to the uh, revenue if customer increases then revenue also increases it is directly proportional right the productivity if your customer increase then productivity will also increase but here they are losing the customer so that's why your productivity will also get decrease okay that's why we are doing the performance testing you can see i have added the multiple example like the flipkart when the flipkart started the first billion big billion day 
so uh, they have tested with the 100 user sorry 10000 user when the big billion day come uh, you know um, at that particular date and time lakhs of people start using and the flipkart server was get crash because of the load and he loses lot of money and same for the amazon server has crash in 2013 and for 30 minutes only and they loses uh 66240 dollar per second not um, for the 30 minute guys per second and you can calculate in 30 minutes how many seconds we have similarly in uh, the google has you know in 2013 they lose the money of 5 lakhs 45000 they their server was down for the 5 minutes actually okay so these all are the example why we are doing the performance testing basically now let's try to understand if i will ask you to do the performance testing of amazon or flipkart of 1000 user so what would be your approach what would be your approach so i don't know about the perform you know the tool so what i will do i will purchase the 1000 machine i will hire the 1000 employee and i will ask you go and use is this feasible no 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 right so what will do using the help of tool in the market if you go here and type performance testing tool which i have already explained you what are the tools available in the market performance testing tool here you can see here you can see web load load ninja load view stress apache j meter rational performance testing there are multiple tools are available in the market okay so using this tool not only j meter tool right we can create the virtual user which behave like a real user using this tool which behave like a real user we can create the virtual user and using that virtual user you can apply the load on the server you can apply the load on the server okay now these all are the interview questions sir so um, uh, please keep in mind basic question okay the very very important question if you are experienced guys even you are fresher also they will ask you one question if you are the real candidate if you are the real candidate they will ask you one question uh, that when you are doing the performance testing when you are doing the performance testing at which stage you are doing the performance testing if you have work on the performance testing you come for the performance testing job then please tell me when in your project when you are doing the performance testing at which level then what would be your answer uh, after finishing the like uh, like after finishing the modules like the application release mm -hmm. so what happen let's suppose we are using the performance testing of flipkart okay here you can see we have the different different modules we have grocery mobile fashion electronics home so when the one module let's suppose the grocery module functional testing and the automation testing is done so that we ha don't have any critical scenario the blocker scenario right so we don't have the any critical blocker p1 scenario and one round of the one round of the functional testing is done automation testing is done for the particular module we can start doing the performance testing of that not 
the at the end when your uh, project is completed when your all the section is completed uh, uh, in the flip card then you start doing the performance testing no never when you are parallelly whenever one module get completed you start writing the uh, you start writing the you know uh, start mapping the things you start creating the designing and you will uh, you have to do the performance testing when your one module is done uh, when and during the implementation let's suppose we all are working on the agile methodology right so let's suppose requirements comes so the requirements uh, the developer is developing the product the uh, manual testing guys they are writing the test cases they are trying to understand the thing same thing and uh, the performance tester uh, they also trying to understand and they are they are mapping the requirement in the uh, tool actually in the meanwhile when you know the things are under uh, implementation right so when the uh, grocery module completed the module completed so you can directly start doing the testing applying the load and uh, whatever the required changes you can do that and after then you can start doing the testing performance testing okay now this is one uh, question which will ask by the interviewer so uh, they will also ask you that uh, is comes before the functional testing or after the functional testing what would be your answer it after after, after, after the after exactly yeah. after the functional testing not before the functional so it is not necessary to do before why let's suppose you are trying to do the grocery and you are trying to book anything you are trying to perform any action right and you are not able to do so is that required to do the performance testing because your basic functionality is not working then why you want to do the performance testing is totally waste right yes correct so that's why we are not doing the functional testing before the, sorry uh, not doing the performance testing before the functional it is always after the functional okay now these all are the basic thing guys which you have to know actually which you have to know this thing i will explain you later on ignore okay when we start using the j meter now why why sometime you know your interview will ask you why you want to why you have used the j meter only in the market we have different tools are also available okay why you have not used some other tool so the very first answer by you actually this tool is decided by the client so i can't do anything with that right yeah uh, the when the client had suggested that we can use the j meter then i have also google the j meter tool in um, you know and found uh, this is the very good tool then you can give the answer like uh, it is the open source performance tool open source it is 100% pure java application and it is free to use no license is required easy to installation very easy installation is very easy man very easy everyone can do it and on any operating system like window window 7 max right and linux mac also so it is installed easily in any windows okay yeah. any windows right it is user friendly also the user can use this uh, particular application very easily it is very understandable and you can the integrate with the deployment the build tool easily the performance testing is only not doing the tester they are also be integrating with the pipeline and the build tool right or wrong they are also using github and jenkins and the maven right agree not yes. sure no idea yes in the real time we are using the uh, build pipeline right the if you want to integrate with uh, jenkins then you have to uh, 
uh, use the Jenkins like uh, you know uh, CI/CD pipeline, continuous integration, and the continuous deployment tool that is Jenkins. If you want to integrate with the build tool that is Maven, Maven is the build tool, so it can integrate with easily with other tool like Jenkins, Maven, IDE, right? And it is more demand in the market. More demand in the market. Now every company they need the performance tester. Okay. Now, uh, now as part of this performance testing, we'll uh, understand the web application, web application, web service, and FTP. We have different types of these services. We'll do. Uh, will apply the load on the different types of the services like web application, web services that is REST and SOAP API, FTP that is file upload and trans download. Have you seen uh, some functionality in your application where you are uploading the file and downloading the file? Yes. Right. So we will also cover that thing, how you can do the performance testing of that. And the email transfer, SMTP, SMTP, the email service. Okay. So we will also look into that and database, how you can apply the load in the database. Okay. Now uh, we can start now. Uh, the first thing, uh, if you want to install the JMeter, I'm providing you this URL, right? You will go to the Google Chrome and hit this URL. And when you open this URL, you have to download this link, the second one. And here you can see it require eight plus Java. So download is simply, uh, it will download one zip file. You have to unzip that file and Keep it at one directory. Open uh, when you download zip file, right? You have to keep unzip this file and put it inside one directory. Before installing the JMeter, ensure that in your machine you have the J, uh, you have the uh, Java in your application in your machine. Sorry. Go and type Java minus version because why we need Java in some of the interview they will ask you. So to use the Apache to use the Apache application why you need Java uh, why you need the Java they will ask you in uh, in most of the interview question they will ask you why you need Java because the Apache is the pure Java based platform. Apache is pure Java based platform. That's why we need the Java. That's why we need Java. That's why you have to install the Java in your machine. Actually, that is the reason behind that to install the Java. So Everyone, could you please check your Java version and drop the message to me in the chat box? How you can check the version? Open the command prompt and type Java minus version. Please drop the message in the chat box, everyone. Okay, I got the response from uh, Pratibha. She has uh, 11, other one. 11, 13, 11. If anyone getting error message, then let me know. Okay, someone is getting 1.8, yeah, point. If anyone getting error message, then please let me know so that I can resolve your issue right now. It seems like everyone having the Java. If you don't have the Java, 
let's suppose if you don't have the java so do not install jmeter first first check the java version go and type if i enter you can see in my machine 11.0 how you can check java minus version okay if you don't have the java version then you can yeah this one you can go uh, i will provide you this link in the chat box and from here you can download the java go here and type go and hit and here you can download the java uh, ta -ta -ta, this version lts version jdk this one lts means long term support okay after then you can install the jmeter let me provide you this url also if anyone facing issue then let me know i will help you okay now we can proceed further now uh when you when you uh when you download the, the zip file when you download the zip file go to any particular directory let's suppose i am going to uh, d directory inside the d directory create any folder inside that folder you can unzip you can unzip your uh, unzip your java apache uh, folder guys i am uh, please uh guys anmol you can mute your camera amol you can mute your camera yeah so so after installing the Zav, uh, sorry jmeter go and create one folder inside your directory and put that uh, unzip that file you will get the folder like that right click on that folder click on that folder you will see the bin folder go to the bin folder and here if you go to the bin folder here you can see window batch command the file extension is window batch command window batch command window batch command okay so just click on window batch command here you can see the j meter j meter right you have to double click on that do not click on any one right first try to search jmeter and then check the extension of that file it is window batch command or not window batch command again asking to you window batch command give me a second guys give me a second uh, let me call this yeah window batch command okay so when you click on that when you click on that double click on that you will see the jmeter application will get open do not close this command this command okay and you will see the apache jmeter tool will get open this is your application of the apache jmeter okay and if you don't want to every time go here uh, go inside the uh, the folder and click on the apache jmeter and the bin right every time you don't want to go and click right so do the one thing right click on that right click on that create the shortcut create the shortcut you will see it here the shortcut will get created and move this shortcut to the desktop move this shortcut to the desktop move this shortcut to your desktop so you can see it here let me close and here you can see here you can see um uh, yeah i move the shortcut here if you click on that it will get open so you don't have to go to that particular folder okay so uh, till now you can try to install 
and uh, I am giving you one or two minutes. Okay? Give me one minute, guys. I will come back. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So, um, I'm facing some network issue. Join right now. Please share the recording after the class. Madam, the recording session will be in this group. I don't have to individually send to you. You can watch the recording session. The recording session will get dumped into this group. You can watch. OK, I don't have to individually share with everyone so you can see right here in this group. OK, so. Yes, yes sir. Uh, uh, in which folder is the bat file uh, available? Give me a minute. Oh, uh when you uh, download the first you can unzip and mm -hmm. uh, you can create one folder and inside that folder you can put it that or simply you can put it in any directory it's already in the folder i think okay so uh, open that folder and uh, here is one bin bin folder okay so go to the bin folder and here inside the bin folder you can see one j meter here j meter go okay. down do not if uh, the here is also j meter but extension is five so you have mm -hmm. to check whose extension is window batch command batch command the bat file you have to check bat file here you okay. can see it is also j meter but it is cell script it is cell script if you are using the mac machine then you have to click on that. OK. So right now you have to click on the window batch command, this one. So your JMeter will get open. OK, otherwise you can create the shortcut and move the shortcut into your desktop and you can open from there. OK, now. Now, guys. Uh, now I'm explaining you one topic uh, OK, have you done everyone done or you can later on you can uh, do that OK. Now before continue with the performance testing, I want to explain to you one simple topic. The web service. Because the web service we are using uh, everywhere, I think in web application also in web service also. Let's try to understand what did you mean by the uh, the web service. OK, let's try to understand the web service. OK. Uh, give me a second. The guys who is taking my uh, the API classes, they already know about that. <coughs> I'm opening one. Uh, give me a second. Because when you know the web service, the API testing, the RESTful API testing, the performance testing will very easy for you then. Right, very easy for you. Then you don't, you will face the challenges, but not uh, that much. You can easily understand if you know the API testing. OK, so I will give you one high level of the API uh, things because we will use in the JMeter. That's why. Why it's not open? Oh, yeah, it's loading. Create new diagram. Blank. And let me save. Yes. Yeah. 
so i have open one uh, where i can draw the picture let's try to understand what did you mean by the web service the web service okay let's try to understand this uh, topic this concept okay <laughs> okay after that we have still uh, uh, 45 minutes actually so please do not leave the call because tomorrow we don't have the class right so that's why so we'll take the full 2 hours today okay and uh, we'll continue our uh, class from the next saturday sunday that is on 28 29 and uh, guys uh, and guys one more thing uh, if you are interested and if you are new in this batch and you have not informed me that you are interested then please drop the message in the chat box that you are interested otherwise i will not consider you otherwise i will not consider you if you do not drop the message that you are interested okay so please drop the message in the chat box that you are interested if you want to continue this class yeah some of the person already uh, has provided that he is interested in the demo class if any of the person is uh, not inform me then please drop the message here so that i can consider them okay uh where i was yeah let's try to understand the uh, web service okay uh this is you know uh, i am so much hungry right in every class i am taking this example actually i am so much hungry right and uh, when any person is hungry right so he will go to the restaurant right so i go to the restaurant this is uh, the hotel right hotel right i go to the hotel and and uh, this is the hotel kitchen hotel you know kitchen right in this hotel you have to uh, you know uh, self service is there you have to come to the kitchen and give the order and take the food okay so this is the uh, chef okay chef okay now you are so much hungry you what you are doing here you come to the kitchen you uh, given the order that i want uh, pizza and the burger pizza and the burger right so uh, the chef has taken your order and uh, he is asking you please wait okay when your order get completed you again go to the chef and you take the order and come to your table and uh, take in your food okay so uh, what happened sir uh, anyone issue go to the command prompt okay so if anyone if anyone uh, yeah i have uh, explained this scenario right let me Uh, make these things as very simple right how i can make this very simple i will introduce one person and uh, this is one person and this is the waiter right so waiter what waiter is doing in hotel in restaurant he when any customer is coming he is come to that particular customer seat and uh, Uh, he is taking the order he or she taking the order and come to the kitchen chef and asking to the kitchen chef that uh, that particular table order this food can you prepare this food when the food get prepared then the hotel chef the oh, sorry uh, waiter come to the chef and take the food and uh, provide the food to the hotel uh, you know uh, customer actually right so can i say waiter is a medium here can i say guys can i say hotel is medium here okay one person is getting error 
like uh, give me a second sir i told you that uh, when you will uh, not get the version so try to use a uh, java space no please provide the space and then minus version java space minus version let me give you the command java minus version if you still get the same error if you still get the same error go to the google chrome and download the java sdk download the sdk right after then please check the version then you will not get any error message okay so guys tell me tell me uh, where i was yeah tell me what waiter is doing can i say hotel uh, waiter is the mediator can i say or not yes yes right yes. what wait, what waiter is doing here what waiter is doing is can i say order. waiter is yeah can i say waiter is making to helping in the communication between customer and chef yes right so let's use the technical term application 1 application 1 and application 2 and two so the waiter is helping to making the communication between application and the application two and this waiter is known as a web service so web service is what is doing is doing the same job which waiter is doing the web service establishing the connection between hotel and chef between application 1 and application 2 between one device to another device web service is establishing the connection between the two application between the two devices that is known as a web service clear clear guys right now move further let me take one example of uh, make my trip i am taking the class continuously uh, like uh, continuously past 4 hours i am continuously speaking because before your batch i have uh, completed the uh, the performance testing class and uh, continuously taken the three hour classes so continuously from last three hour classes i am speaking so uh, let me open make my trip yeah hello let me open the make my trip okay so let's suppose you are trying to search you are trying to search and let me inspect this element inspect this element go to the network section go to the network section if i go and uh, so right click right click and inspect if you right click and inspect you can check what are the request the web uh, what are the request the make my trip is using in the backend okay so clear this is for the clear and if you can search okay before search okay give me a second i don't want to search right now let simple click on the url hit the url clear this thing give me a second load properly 
it is still loading the make matrix is still loading that's why you can see the okay so um, yeah let me clear right click and inspect right click and inspect go to the network section if you go to the network section you can check what are the calls the make my trip is doing when you are performing any action so let's suppose i am hitting make my trip url and here you can see some action is going on uh guys can you hear me properly because at my in it's showing poor network can you hear me yes yes here you yes. can see i'm seeing poor network that's why i told you okay no problem then so okay uh ta 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 here you can see when you hit this url right if you go top at the top you can see ww make my trip it's calling to the uh, this request server this particular server in the back end right if you go to the response you can see the response this is the response you are getting from the server and this response the developer has uh, used you know using the css they has converted into this ui which you can see it here on the screen okay so like here you are getting the response from the server when you are hitting this url right so if you go to the preview can you see it here right so if you go to the header this is the request url which server is hitting okay okay now i want to go from delhi to mumbai right in the date of 21 this is the e uh, the flight indian flight uh, application site where you can book the flight hotels right so this is the indian some of the person are from the different country so that's why i have to explain so basically this application is for the traveling company application you can book the flight hotels villas trains anything okay so let's suppose i want to book the flight uh, delhi to mumbai in the date of 23 right go and right click on inspect element right click and inspect element go to the network section and clear this thing and search whatever the call it's calling to the back end the make my trip it you can see it here in the network section it is still loading you can see it here still navigating it is calling api it is calling api yeah it is calling third party api basically basically it's going to this particular uh, host server and integrate and this particular server is integrated with the difference uh, you know third party or on services or database so this all the things are intercalling first it connect with the ww make my trip server where the make my trip is hosted okay and if they are using the api then it will call the api and get the request depends on the application how they are designed and how they are using okay here you can see when i uh, here you can see in the search result when i uh, click on the search you get the different flight company different flight company result you can see the air asia go first and uh, and uh, and and air india with different uh, time and the fare detail different times and the fare detail right so what did you think how make my trip how make my trip uh, you know getting this data from this uh, third party like uh, air india vastara go air how they are doing that thing so let's try to understand this thing 
this is the make my trip okay make my make my trip right and when you searching the flight you get the different flight company result in your search page right let's suppose this is go air go air this is indigo and this one is you can take go air indigo which one is air india i think okay you get that thing and let me establish the connection guys it is very very important so let's try to understand how these things are happening i'm trying to establishing the connection okay <clears throat> so what happened this uh, travel site company they are you know when you are searching the flight you will get the different different flight details here how so this third party the air india indigo spyjet are tie up with the make my trip so what they are using the go air or uh, indigo or spyjet they created their own api application programming interface they created their own web service the restful web service or soap web service they created their own soap service or rest service right so and they are purchasing their service into the market right let's suppose you are the flight company you want to book the ticket right so make my trip there is not any uh, flight name as a make my trip is there no right the make my trip is simple traveling application where we are booking our uh, ticket right where we are booking our tickets right so this airline company this is the third party company third party company so this company they created their own web service on web service right they have implemented their own soap or rest service right and they purchase in the market right so let's suppose the make my trip you want uh, this their web service they have to tie up with the you know, go air and use their web service so that when you are searching any data so make my trip internally first it will go to this host server where your server is hosted and internally developer has designed the stuff right they are internally connecting with the third party services third party services and whatever the search result the user has performed here delhi to mumbai right they will get the data using the web service and that web service connecting with their server the you know the go air right and they are you know uh, web server the go air always updating their web service we have the tickets available on this particular date and time always they are updating their web service because that web service is used by the different flight company when the flight company is searching any data so that they will get the updated result with the date and types and the fare right so what the web service will do they will create one sorry 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 sorry, sorry. they will create one web service this is the web service similarly similarly the indigo is the Uh, created one web service similarly the air india uh, created one web service similarly the spyjet created the one web service and this make my trip using this web service when i 
search any data here delhi to mumbai it will go and connect with this uh, host server where the hosted uh, your server is hosted right and internally they will connect with the web services and get the data based on whatever the user has applied right so like that you know uh, these all company making the money actually right so it i am not asking the make my trip let's suppose uh, the travel loop right let's suppose i am using uh, uh, book the flight book the flight book the uh, flight book the flight ticket can you see we have clear trip we have travel loop we have go abo we have yatra.com we have make my trip okay so when i click on the uh, clear trip clear trip when i click on the clear trip when i enter the uh, where i want mumbai let's suppose mumbai and delhi this is uh, right here i want to go and the i want one trip right and i click on the search flight i click on the search flight so you can see it here you will get the multiple result with a different flight details and different date and times here you can see right so spice it so what these companies is doing the third party they have created one web service and they are selling their web service this uh, you know uh, this make my trip clear trip or any travel site they are using the either they can sell either you can use free but at least the go air is getting the benefit if anyone book the ticket on make my trip who will get the benefit tell me sir this flight company agree yes right if i book the ticket in application let's suppose make my trip travel loop so this company uh, the flight company will get the benefit their seat will book right so in some of the case they will uh, uh, you know provide their services as a free because ultimately he is also getting the benefit he is uh, getting the benefit right so they will provide their services as a free service go and use my service i will always update my data in that service right and this flight company they use this service easily so like that internally you know uh, they are working actually okay so here you can see it here let's come to here the method what is mean by this web service same thing the method of the communication between two device and the application that is the web service enable the communication between the application over the web that is the web service and platform independent communication why it is platform independent so if you are using the web service then no matter no matter this two application is built in any language let's suppose uh, the go air build in java java and using the sql database sql database right and the travel loop is made in c sharp using the using the uh, let's suppose mongo uh, mongo db db database right so there is you know if you are using the web service two application can communicate with each other no matter in which application they are building the web service help because this is the mediator uh, have you seen there guys when you are uh, uh, going to some tourist place there is one tourist guys have you noticed this thing there is some tourist guys and that tourist guys what he is doing uh he is uh translating the things into their language right right 
so the tourist guide is behave like a mediator same thing here the web service is the mediator no matter in which language it is built in okay the same thing i have written here okay using web service web service two different application can talk each other okay and this is one simple diagram the client is sending the request and server is sending the request to the client okay now uh you can see it here this is the client this is the client so i am sending the request i am sending the request uh, this is the make my trip if i am sending the request so i am the client it's connecting with this server so this is the server okay same thing here and client is sending the request to the server and server returning the response server returning the response okay so here when uh, what is the medium here for the web service okay so guys tell me one thing tell me one thing i am communicating with you what is the medium here i am communicating with you then what is the medium here type skype internet is the medium similarly when two application when client and server is communicating with each other when client and server communicating with each other then 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 medium is http and the internet the medium is http and the internet right so internet which we are using and http http is the hypertext transfer protocol this one this is one medium here you can see on the screen http this is one medium to connect with the server if you not used then you can't connect with the server so internet and this http is one medium to connect with the server okay and the format so guys i think if you have remembered uh, when we are kid right so when you are studying in the school day so when you want to take the leave when you want don't want to come to the school so how you are communicating with your uh, class teacher or principal you are writing the application so application the application is the medium between your class teacher and you and in that application you are writing one format there you are following one format like in the top you are writing to the principal and subject line and then body and at the end you are writing your sincerely and your uh, roll number and the class agree agree with this point or not yes right similarly you can't yes, write the things you can't write the things your sincerely at the top and uh, subject at the top and to the principal at the bottom you can't uh, like that so they will directly reject you right so and uh, directly reject you so so when you are communicating with the, you know when the two application communicating with each other the client and server when communicating with each other right the medium is http or the proto or the protocol like protocol is https right and the format is format is a xml or a json in web service in web service the format is xml or a json okay the format is xml and the json okay so let's try to understand uh, the different types of the web service so this particular class uh, course is not for the web service so i will just go 
through the high level only 10% course i will cover of the web service because this particular class is for the performance testing okay that's why so will because we will use the uh, you know uh, we will also do the performance testing on the web service that's why i am explaining you the basic of the web service that is the reason behind that okay now we have two types of the because if i explain the web service it is another two months of the course it's another two months of the course actually right so that's why so i will just i am high level i am giving you which are required here okay so there are two types of the web service soap and the restful okay let's try to understand uh, the restful web service restful means representational state transfer and here you can see if you are using guys do not worry if you are not able to understand because right now i am explaining you the theoretically right so in the coming classes i will explain this thing using the practically so to to do the practice first you have to understand the theoretical concept okay that's why so restful web service two types of the service restful if you are using in some of the company the i think uh, 80 to 90 percent company in now a days in real time they are using restful web service. The soap web service market is very less, very less now a days. Most of the company, I think 80 to 90 percent company, they are using the restful web service. Restful means a representational state transfer. here you can see if you using the restful web service then medium is http and inside the medium we are using difference method post get put patch and delete if you go to the jmeter and this is the test plan do not try to understand bus uh, just simply look at what i am trying to say http request here you can see these all are the method we are using these all are the verbs we are also asking as a verbs okay method okay so this method we are using in the post in the restful api post get put patch delete right i will explain you the behavior of that and the format is i told you when you are making the communication we need the format and here the format is xml json and text in the case of so simple object access protocol the medium is http and the method we are using here is only post only post and format is xml right here you can see the client sending the request and you get the response right this is the rest and this is the soap here you can see if you are using anything mobile application or booking the cab or anything the request go to the internet the request go to the internet then it's connect with the apis internet and means it's go to the first web server where your server is hosted right and server connect with the internal part internal how they are implemented like with the apis and the apis connect with their web service and if the web service is using the database then it connect with the database okay so uh, let's uh, try to understand here in the restful web service in the restful web service restful web service means it is a set of principle which you have to follow to exchange the data to exchange the information guys i will take another 10 minutes so do not leave the class and before that let me update you one more thing which i have already updated multiple times tomorrow we don't have class due to of the uh, raksha bandhan uh, festival okay 
so we'll continue the class from next saturday sunday 28 and 29 august in the same time 4 to 6 if any of the person has not dropped the message and they are interested then please drop the message so that i can consider you for the next batch and one more thing anything related to the class i will drop that thing into this group i will or i will sometime i will join the class 5 minute late right so i will drop the things i will i have to drop like document or anything i have to share i will use this group so i would recommend install the install the skype in your mobile so so that you will get the notification in your mobile so every time you don't go and open your laptop so i would recommend so install the skype in your mobile so that uh, you will get the notification easily and you will get the update regarding the class or anything okay so if anyone interested and if you have not dropped the message please drop the message okay now let's come to here in the restful uh these all are the layer which you are using in uniform interface stateless casual layer system and the proton let's try to understand the uniform interface in the uniform interface we have three types resource url and http let's try to understand here make my trip i am opening the make my trip here so when i open the make my trip make my url here you can see where it gone uh let me open the make my trip url yeah i open the make my trip url so this is the url right uh, still not you um, i think you know that this is the url you don't know the component of this let me explain you okay so this http is known as a protocol please write it down this http is known as a protocol and after the double slash after the double slash up to forward slash up to first forward slash it is known as a base url so this is known as a www.makemytrip.com is known as a base url base url when you are trying to click on the flight and you want to book the ticket right you just click on the flight that right? here you can see i click on the hotel i click on the hotel tab right so after the first slash after the first slash it is known as a resource it is known as a resource right so after this is known as a protocol after the double slash up to first slash it is known as a base url and after the first slash it is known as a resource base url means base url means where your server is hosted this make my trip is server is hosted so make my trip is hosted on www.makemytrip.com this is the make my trip base url okay and protocol protocol plus base url is known as a host url protocol plus base url is known as a host url in the interview they will ask you what did you mean by that and after the first slash this is known as a resource now when i am trying to resource means what the user want let's suppose i want book the flight so flight is one resource i want to book the hotel so hotel is one resource i want to book the villa i want so home stay is the resource have you noticed that thing only resource get changed and base url is same have you noticed that thing guys have you noticed that thing if you click on the flight your base url is same only resource is changing here yes. hotel right visa right vikas so only resource is changing here right because your host url is same right resource will change so resource mean what user want 
user want to book the ticket user want to book the flight user want to book the train right that is known as a resource right and inside that resource let's suppose if i click on the flight inside that report, uh, resource i want to book the flight i want to search delhi to mumbai in the date of 24 and click on this search click on this search and uh, let me inspect this element here you can see here at the top in the url get chain you can see there is very long url okay let's try to understand up to here this is clear agree or not up to flight it is clear or not yeah it's clear for me yeah fine then so here you can see search so this is the main resource inside the uh, flight resource what action you are trying to do you are trying to do you are trying to search the flight so this is the child resource so up to here this is known as a resource right the flight is the main resource and search is the you know child resource right after that here you can see the question mark question mark key and the value here you can see itinerary and the delhi and bom and the date so after the first question mark it is known as a query parameter query parameter means what you are trying to search that is known as a query param right how you can identify with the question mark here you can see you are using delhi you can see the code here d e l the mumbai you can see the code here b o m you can see it here 24 august you can see the date here and returning i have selected b uh, and from mumbai to delhi b o m and again delhi and returning is from 25 right so this is known as a query parameter after the question mark this is known as a query parameter query parameter means what user trying to search right that is considered as a query parameter if anyone giving you this url and asking you could you please identify i believe you can easily identify let me take the another example let me take flip card okay let me take the flip card i will go to the mobile right can you see what is the base url what is the host here and what is the query parameter because guys this thing is very important in the coming class if you this things are not clear then you will stuck somewhere in future class okay yeah after https www.flipkart.com this is base url so when you, you are in the api class i know you know that <laughs> any other one any other one any other one okay. yeah tell me ma'am can i say this is the protocol and after the double slash up to the first slash this is known as a base url protocol plus base url is known as a host url after the first slash up to the question mark this is known as a resource after the question mark this is known as a query parameter simple and straight forward let me take another example i am taking one banking application
will now guys tell me what are the resource here anyone can guess what are the resource in this page Personal, okay. NRI, business, corporate. Exactly. These all Gosh. are the resource. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. These all are the resource actually. Right. The personal, NRI, invest. Right. If I click on me, I don't want to click in stop. I think they will call me. Mm -hmm. I will. Okay. Click. Click call. Uh, home lock. Oh, so I have to click on the. Yeah, here you can see. Right now, guys, you can differentiate the thing. Tell me how you can. I will take only one minute more, guys. Yeah. Tell me. This is the protocol. This is the base URL, and this is your resource. Up to question mark, and. After question mark, this is known as a character. Okay, so the same thing here they have uh, used in the architect, in the designing, the developer. That this is the layer, the source URL HTTP. Right. So in uh, here you can see in the document I have provided uh, the things. Okay. In coming class, that is on next Saturday Sunday, I will discuss what are the methods we have. And after that, we'll start the uh, performance testing, the J meter tool. After that, I will start the J meter. Okay. Any question? Then let me know. Tomorrow we don't have the class. Every recording session you will get the record. Every live class we will get the recording session. Uh, when I cut this call, the recording session will get dumped into this group. Okay. You can watch the recording session. You can download the recording session. Okay. And uh, if you are interested to continue, if you have not informed me, then let me know. Okay. Thank you, guys. If you have any question, then let me know. I am here for you. Yeah. Tell me. The class is over. If you have any question, then let me know. Yeah. Tell me, sir. If you don't have any query, then we can uh, end the call. Okay, and if you have uh, any query, then I'm here for you. Uh, Vikas, yeah. Yes, sir. Tell me. Yeah, I'll get the requirement. Like uh, in the is it in the form of user story? If yes, like can you show one like later, like in the next class, like how the uh, user story will be like in the requirement will be basically. Okay, so you want to say like uh, how the performance tester gather the requirement and uh, they map the things and start doing the performance testing, right? The same question? Uh, yes, correct. Yes, yeah, yes. that I will explain you. No worry, sir. Uh, because in the uh, real time, we have two scenario. Two scenario. Let me explain. In one project, we have the manual guys also and uh, functional guys also. Okay, they are doing the functional testing. So, uh, they will do the functional testing and uh, uh, they will provide you the scenario. What are the scenario you have to apply? Okay. In some case, the client will provide you the scenario, right? If the client will provide the scenario, you have to map the things manually actually. So there are multiple, uh, you know, uh, you know, permutation and the combination in which case you will get the requirement actually. Okay. That I will explain you definitely. Okay. In between the class. First, we'll try to understand the basic thing. After that, we'll move to that. Is that fine, sir? Yeah. If anyone having any question, then let me know. I'm there for. I'm here because, for you. Uh, I have one question. Uh, so, yes, sir, go ahead. can we move to browser Chrome or any browser and can open any Flipkart yeah. or anything? Yeah. Yeah. So we can take an example of this one. Yeah. So just like we are, uh, we are checking out for the APIs, the resources, especially, right? Mm -hmm. We wanted to make a call. We will hit our resources and then we'll get a response. 
so is that the case with same with uh, while doing the performance testing as well or okay. uh, what how is it been? like in, so okay in, yeah, uh, what yeah, happens sir in real time yeah yes yes yeah so like my what my thought process was uh, do we need to like uh, hit one particular page or uh, do we need to perform on the basis of resources just like we are testing the api resources so how is it in case of performance okay so just like flights are there hotels are there villas are, are there so do we need to test each uh, component uh, performance wise or how is it okay so whenever uh, you get uh, assigned into the performance project so the first thing you will get directly you will get the application web application like the client will ask you they will provide you this application right they pro they will provide you this application and they will ask you that uh, you can start your performance testing of the flight okay this is the one thing mm -hmm. they will directly provide you the application and they will ask you to do the performance testing in the second one they will provide you the web service the, they will provide you the web service what are the call in the back end it's calling actually right they will provide you that thing okay let's talk about this one uh, they have provided the web application so the client will okay. ask you so uh, do the performance testing of the flight okay what you are doing here we are not covering all the things the uh, you know the binary manner you know small small thing like uh, uh, you know click on this calendar or because this is the functionality testing right and we have to do the functional you have to do the performance testing what you are doing in jmeter in jmeter we have the script recorder if you go here and test fragment and test scenario uh, the script recorder will get added and uh, here you have to add logic controller uh, logic controller recording controller right and we have to use the firefox browser okay so let's suppose we are using this application oh give me a second Give me a second. Proxy is set, right? Okay. Give me a second. Certificate. Basic thing here. Certificate is installed. Okay. Everything is done. Now, I will go here and start the recording. Start the recording. Stop. And whatever the scenario you want to perform. Let's suppose the client has given you this application, right? So you enter the URL in the browser and then uh, you get this link. You have to click on that link. You click on that link and let's suppose you want to go to the fish item, this application where you can purchase the animal, okay? And you go to this particular product ID, go to this item, okay? And add to cart add to cart and you have proceed to checkout and here you have to log in basically i don't want to log in here stop the recording so you can see whatever the scenario you have covered here like uh, to like you have click on the face right you click on the mm -hmm. like basic scenario which are very important right let's suppose yeah which application we were using yeah this one okay we cover we click on the face then we click on the face product id then i click on this item we are not testing the functionality here we are checking only response time here and add to cart so this is one flow of the scenario right 
so you record this one scenario here right now you have to design this thing right so this is the one way to cover the scenario actually okay whenever you get the module and even you can split the things also depends on the scenario clear sir or you can if you want do not want to use the script recorder you can manually map the thing manually you have to map this uh, uh, page pat, you know this particular application whatever the call it using you have to manually map okay so what i'm trying to say whenever you are doing the any module section performance testing right first you have to decide the scenario right what are the scenario you have to do as per the performance testing like in to in scenario first you can cover right and you know uh, uh, like if you have different way to do the same thing then you can cover that way also so in the performance testing class we, when we will start and we will discuss you know more thing then we have the clear picture sir okay okay sir okay uh, yeah so uh, just one thing uh, before you uh, disconnect the call so yeah. where are we exactly checking the perf uh, performance where are we checking basically the response time itself or uh, are we adding yeah, the yeah, uh, threads yeah, and yeah, then you can say uh, you can say actually just we have today have the first class so i can't show you everything in the first class okay. <laughs> so you can actually you want... i i like i got two opportunities for uh, performance as a performance tester but i did not take that this one okay in my no problem projects. okay let me show you so when you uh, create the request here when you map all the things okay so let's suppose uh, i'm using this recorder and here you will go here and you can see the listener listener here view result tree this is supposed to record the you know this will give you the record actually here you can see view result tree and if you go here right click and add one more listener view result uh, the, the summary report we can take and here you can apply the load okay let's suppose i am testing with two user i want to apply the load with two user you can pass the user here and run i don't want to save here you can see all the a request which you have added here it get executed you can see it here when you go here you can in summary report here you can see the sample average time taken of each request minimum time taken maximum time taken the throughput there are lot of things sir here you can yeah, see right, the right. latency the connection time how many times it's taken so this sample time is known as the response time this one no each request you can see having the response time Protocol, this is the response yeah. time which they are connected with the server okay okay thanks a lot uh, vikas any other question anyone have or we can in this call if anyone have then let me know uh, vikas like one last question so uh, it will be covering some like real time scenarios and uh, some common challenges like when you like when you since you are working in performance right so yeah we will try because like when you put some experience in the resume so uh, like you should be yes, capable sir, that i am ensuring yeah. you that uh, after taking this course that you will get the 3 years of the experience guys you can uh, write in the resume if you do the practice so if you talk about the real time scenario so i will always try to create the real time scenario right uh, and uh, will do the performance testing and will also discuss what are the challenges you will face in the future and how you can resolve that thing okay but one thing okay. uh, as part of the performance testing class i will not use apply the load on make my trip or uh, clear trip because they will block me right so i can't apply the load on this particular server right so we will use this particular application this is the application where you can apply the load on the server this application we can use this is the uh, 
this application basically where you can uh, you know order the uh, the animal okay this application we will do as a performance testing and this application mm, give me yeah and this application as well and one banking application as well that is prime give me a second the banking application which we will do practice para bank this is one dummy application not the real bank this is the dummy application okay where we will do the performance testing okay this three application we have okay we'll do the performance yeah, testing. Uh, this application are hosted on local machine or is it on some server no it is hosted on their server basically it is not in local machine you oh, can okay. also uh, open in your application in your machine okay 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 yeah. thanks a lot yeah any other question hello vikash yes sir tell me yeah um sorry um i just want to confirm um with the previous okay. questions do, does these applications represent like a live project yeah like sir if i explain the things by taking you know one uh, application the second application so if you use i can't explain you by taking all the project application because it's very tough i can take uh, take it as a one or two or three application just for the reference okay so uh, if i explain this application that thing i can ensure you when you work on your project you will get the thing is very easily what i am trying to say and how you can use the same thing in your application okay because right, in the because real the reason time, i ask here yeah, is mm -hmm. because you said then after this um, session it's like um, three years of experience with uh, performance testing yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's, you know, that's my questions. Uh, that's why I asked that question, like, you know, are they real life? Because I think for me personally, I think uh, I need something like that. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah no problem, sir. Scenario. But one thing is there, if you do the practice, I can ensure you, you can take any application in your project or for the practice purpose, you can do the performance testing. But the things is whatever the things I will explain you, you have to do the practice. After that, you will be the three years of the experience. If you don't do the practice, if you not attend the class, then I can't give you that insurity. Okay, yeah, that thing course. is totally depends on you. Okay, yeah. but that thing, the we have the sufficient application with a different difference domain. This is the because I can't apply the load on uh, you know uh, uh, the Flipkart or any Amazon application, right? Because yeah, if yeah, I yes, apply I know, the load, those are you like, can understand, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are live um, application that are already you know in the public domain. So yeah, any other question? Anyone have? Yeah, so I dropped a message on the on the chat earlier on, and uh, I don't know if um, you didn't see it. Because I wouldn't okay, like to draw uh, back, really. Yeah, got the question. What is the difference between web service? So no problem, sir. I will explain you that thing in uh, coming classes. OK, I think you are also attending the API testing class. So I will explain you that thing in APIs. OK. <clears throat> any All other right. one having any questions related to performance testing? Then let me know. Okay. Question for me. Okay, so we'll tomorrow we don't have class. We'll meet uh, next Saturday, Sunday, and guys will share the uh, account detail. You can uh, also do the payment. Okay, so if you are satisfied, then you can do that. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.